we're on our way up to Williams right now to meet two of my mom's friends. I've been working on the 67 Kingcraft from my mom's friend Julie for the last little bit. Uh, all kinds of things, air conditioning and stuff like that. Um, but I have, she has another friend that was coming back from a trip and her friend lives up out of outside of Reading, so a little ways away, and she mentioned that she was coming through and gonna be back on Highway 5 in Williams and wanted to know if I could come meet her to pick up her trailer because she needs some work done to it, so I'm gonna help her out with that. Um, but it just worked out that we're coming up to Williams, so I got a hold of my mom's other friend that owns the 67 here and said, hey, if you want, you can meet us there and instead of coming all the way to my house, some stuff in the road there. Um, instead of coming all the way to my house, I'll go ahead and bring it up to Williams if you just want to meet us there. So that's what we're doing. I'm bringing her trailer up to Williams. Gonna swap, pick up the other trailer, and bring it back home. So I got my trusty sidekick Evan back there. Came along for the ride. So we are just out bouncing up and down the road to go get some trailers. I'm gonna do a quick little walk around here just to make sure everything's all good. All locked on. Make sure everything's tight. Tight as it can be. <laughs> That's the thing with these old trailers, they just kind of rattle rattle apart over the years, but this one's pretty cool. She's got it all decked out and we're just going to spruce it up and fix it up and make it a little bit better. All right, we're good to go. Back on the road. It kept saying trailer disconnect. So I'm going to go out and check the plug. Be right back, bud. Let's go see what's going on here. Had this happen to me on my trailer before too. It's in all the way. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Sometimes those plugs, especially these older trailers, um, they just get so wore out from use so much. So what you can do is take a flathead screwdriver, go on the end there and kind of twist them a little bit to bend them to make them flare out. So when they go into the, uh, you know, the female part on your truck it makes actually a good connection so we'll see what happens if need to i'll stop again and do that all right so the disconnect thing was coming on again so easy thing that you can do is take your plug here on your trailer these little tabs here they just kind of wear out and spread out over time so if you just take a flathead screwdriver and kind of tweak them back in a little bit there's a little bit of pressure when it goes in onto the truck, it'll make a good connection then. Alright, well that went in really nice and tight this time. I can tell it's definitely making a better connection. So, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get back on the road here, head home and keep having some fun. Alright, well, we just got home. Let the fun begin. So the fun already has begun. I've already had the trailer here for a little while at my place, getting some work done on it. 
the underbelly of the trailer, the wood's bad and sagging and stuff, so I gotta fix that. The front up front on each corner has cracks from stress and things like that, so I'm gonna fix that, make some little rock guards and things like that up front for her. And then probably the big thing I'm doing on here for her is I'm gonna put an air conditioner. I'm actually installing it underneath her bed in the back of her trailer. Um, it's kind of tricky to do, um, but on some of these older trailers where you can't put them on the roof and things like that, you get a little creative. So it's been done before. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little peek because I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. But just a peek, that's another video down the road. You see it? You see it? Okay. That's all you get for right now. Um, but anyways, this is here, getting all this stuff done. Um, so a couple days after we got back, after bringing this trailer back from making the whole swap up there, me and the kids and my mom went over to Plymouth to a trailer rally. And uh, it's not like, it wasn't like typical rallies, I guess. I've only been to one. So, and they're super cool. You get to walk around, you get to go in and check out all these old vintage trailers like this. Like my mom's 57 Santa Fe over here. Um, and just some really nice trailers that are all decked out, all remodeled, and some aren't. Some are kind of more, a little bit more run down, a little bit more, but they have their own little coolness about them that you get to see. Um, but anyways, I was going over kind of thinking, getting more tours of the trailers, but because of all the, the, the COVID stuff and all that, it actually wasn't open to the public. It was more of like a gathering of I don't know how many people, 100, 200, you know, different trailers that were there. And it's kind of just like that community got together and hung out for three days, you know, and showed off their trailers. But it wasn't really open to the public to come in and see. We got invited because my mom has a ton of friends that were there from some of the trailer groups she belongs to. Um, so we got to go check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, give you guys some some shots of that. Got, I'll show you what I was able to capture over there. It was cool. Um, like I said, I didn't get to go in and tour the insides kind of like I was hoping to, um, but it's okay. We got we got had a good time, um, just kind of chilled, hung out, and um, you know, it was cool to get invited to come see that kind of stuff um, and all that. And if you haven't seen any trailer tours, I mean, if you get a chance in the future when that stuff opens back up, go check them out because there are some fantastic trailers out there. I actually did a trailer tour in my mom's 57 Santa Fe combined with her 75 that she had as well. Um, I'll put a link for it if you guys want to go check that out. Um, but anyways, there's a lot of cool old trailers out there with a lot of cool stuff going on. And uh, so anyways, you'll be able to see this and the air conditioner install and all the stuff that I've been doing to this in future videos. Um, in case you're new to this channel, one of the things I do is I spend half the month out on the road traveling with my the triplets and sometimes my older daughter um, and doing road school, which is a lot of fun. They've been having a great time this year. And the other two weeks that I'm home, I'm here doing stuff at the house and helping some of my mom's friends out with their trailers. So you're going to see quite a bit of different trailers um, getting some cool stuff done to it. So anyways, um, that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with some cool footage of the rally we went to. And we will see you next week. All right. Have a good one.